Hey, hello, it's Reese here. Welcome to our how video showing you how you can use Zoho Desk to set up and utilize a knowledge base. It's going to save your customers time finding the answers they need and save your agents time by removing tickets from their to-do list. It's going to keep your customers happy and keep your agents happy. So that's a win-win. First things first, we're going to jump into Zoho Desk and head to the ticketing system as it is now. As you can see, we've got loads and loads of tickets coming in and it creates a huge task to clear them all. You'll also notice that a lot of them are on the same topic. We've got at least 10 here who are just asking about our returns policy. Now we've got our assigner agents to deal with these tickets because our customers need the answers, but it's always a copy and paste response. That may be quick to do, but it happens so regularly that it becomes a big, big waste of time and a big drain of our resources. So we're gonna produce a knowledge base where customers can get these types of answers on a self-serving basis. Now to create and manage this knowledge base, we will always be working within the Help Center tab at the top of your dashboard in Zoho Desk. However, before we do anything, we need to think about how we're gonna structure this knowledge base, what makes sense for our business structure, and what makes sense for our customers. Because far too often, people make the mistake of jumping in and building a knowledge base before they've planned how it should be structured, and then it gets patchworky later on as they try and make changes. So give it some thought and plan out a structure with a flowchart or whoever works for you visually, as I've done here for our company Aftersport. There are two sides to our business that are quite far removed from one another. One is a service to retired sports stars, helping them further their careers in the media. The other is selling merchandise with their faces plastered all over it. Now each side of the business and the clientele will have very, very different questions and requirements, so they need different dedicated areas. And under these different areas, I've suggested some potential subsections and articles to go with them. Now yours will most likely be much more comprehensive than this, mainly because your business is real and after sport is completely made up so we can get away with it. Okay, so now I've got the structure planned, let's head back over to desk and put it all into action. From the home dashboard, head back up to the help center section, click manage knowledge base and first we need to create the categories, so click on organize categories. Remember this should reflect the structure we made earlier, so keep referring back to your plans. Now press on create a category and let's start with the sports stars category. Add a description, add an associated department, for us this is going to be our talent management department. Now set the visibility and because we want to have individual visibilities for all of the subsections, we're going to set this to none. You can also assign specific agents and specific departments, but we're not going to do that here because we don't really need to do that for our feedback. And finally, if we whiz up to the top, we can add a nice little icon as well. Then press the add in the bottom corner, and there we are, our first section is set up. We just need to repeat this process for the other departments in our structure. In our case, that is just for our products and merchandise section. Okay, so there we are, both of the main departments are set up. Now we just need to work on adding the subsections and the articles to both of them. The first thing we need to do is try and stop so many requests coming in for our returns policy. So head over to the navigation bar on the left hand side, select articles, and this is gonna create all the content. Click on start writing, and here we are. This is the box where all the magic happens. There are a few options, we can type straight into the box, and it'll act like any word processor, we can format the text, add images, add videos, and all that fun stuff. Or we can upload content that we've already made. You can upload it from your computer, or from cloud storage. And as you can see, we've got all the main providers here, but obviously at Aftersport, we use Zoho Work Drive. So we go in and we select the document and we import it. Once the text pulled across, we can look at the settings behind the article. For the owner, I'll leave it as myself. We want this article to sit directly underneath the products and merchandise category, so there's no need to add subsections. Set display permissions. So for this, we want all users to be able to see this on the website. We can add tags, and this is to help customers and agents find the relevant articles to that topic, but also so that the system can suggest recommended articles to customers. And there's no need for an expiry date here. The final section is for SEO, and it doesn't matter too much for this article, but I'll show you an example next of when it becomes more important. Then just head back up to the top of the page and hit publish. And then here we are with the final article. From this screen, we can track comments, we can track feedback, and we can track insights, such as likes, dislikes, and views. So now that that's all set up, 
let's have a look at how else we can use this knowledge base. So aside from being useful for current customers, your knowledge base can be a source of useful information for prospective customers and might just convert them into customers. So what we're going to do is head into our sporting styles category that we created earlier and add a subsection for media tips and tricks. The setup process is fairly similar and again we need it open so everyone can see. Now let's add our first article in here, but this time we're going to go straight to the blue plus icon at the top right and add our article this way. Again we're going to bring our article across in the same way from WorkDrive, but you'll notice within the text I've left a note to insert a video. And to do this we're going to head to the insert button and there are lots of options here but I want to embed the video. So click embed, add the URL and there we are. And if you've not seen this video it's probably worth a watch, it's quite funny. And then as last time we fill in all the information we need down the right hand side. But this time when we get down to the SEO section you probably want to spend a little bit more time and be more considerate about how we put this detail in because this could be a traffic driver for us. So once that's all done, head up to the top and we hit publish. There's another article added to the knowledge base. Okay, so the third and final way we're going to look at today for utilizing this knowledge base is for internally facing articles. For example, we've got a new agent that isn't familiar with our complaints procedure. Now they need to pull documents to follow from somewhere, but we don't really want customers seeing that because as far as they know, we never get complaints. So where do we put this? I'm going to head back into the structure, go to products and merchandise, I'm going to add a subsection here for complaints procedures, and everything in the setup is exactly the same, except that we need to set the visibility to agents. Now this means that only our agents will be able to view this article and any articles in this subsection. Again, add the article as we did before, and fill in the details. And one thing you'll notice is that it pulls the permissions and the visibility from the parent section. And there we go, here's an example of an internally facing article. Okay, and that's published, now we've got a whopping three articles in our knowledge base. Obviously we need to flesh that out a lot more, and we'll follow the structure that we made earlier to do that. I'm going to disappear really quickly for a second while I go and fill in a bit more and then we'll come back. Okay, we're back at the main dashboard for the knowledge base and as you can see we've now got more articles in here. And if we jump into the structure you'll see that we've got sections, we've got subsections and sometimes we've got sub subsections where it's necessary. Okay, so now our knowledge base is built within desk, let's see how it looks on the website. So here we are. On the Aftersport website, we can see the two different sections for sports stars and for products and merchandise. Now, if we jump into products, you can see our returns, delivery and refunds policy. And within sports stars, you can see our media training tips and tricks and meet our account managers. Now, this isn't complete because we're not logged in. So let me just log into an account and we'll see how it changes. Now that we're logged in, that means I'm a client of the company, so I can see more information. So heading to sports stars, we can see the placement opportunities for our clients. We can also see that there's more training tips and tricks there. And this is due to the rules we set up earlier. Well, that's it for the setup of the knowledge base now. With a well thought out and planned knowledge base, you can save your agents and importantly your customers loads of time. Great for you, great for them. But I would say do not neglect your knowledge base now. That's very important. Make sure it's kept up to date Make sure nothing is added that hasn't been approved and that the structure documentation doesn't disappear into the ether. If you can do all that, your knowledge base will remain a powerful tool and will save you a lot of headaches in the future. And thank you very much for watching. Why not check out some of our other wow and how videos?